Everything around us is changing deeply and fundamentally. Not in one country and not in one industry. The world is undergoing a complete, deep, and pervasive change, full of disruptions and uncertainty. What are organizations turning to for change? Surprisingly, most of them simply do not. Many organizations, many structures, many institutions will fail and they won't know why. I think they'll sink into the mud and never know what killed them. What are the actual results of this choice to stay safe? The numbers are clear. In the past 25 years, more than half of the global 1,000 companies are gone. Although some of these organizations consolidated and merged, many of them simply failed. It's a familiar story. Talented people, great expertise, vast knowledge. With so much capital in their own people, why did they fail to connect to their own best ideas? Four influential thinkers, authors, and knowledge management thought leaders came together for two days to share their perspectives at the invitation of the Smithsonian Institution. This is what is happening, but we are ignoring it. Formerly the director of the Palo Alto Research Center, best-selling author John Seeley Brown is one of the world's most sought-after speakers on leadership change and innovation. What we're hearing in our interviews and in our re research is that people are afraid. Catalina Gro is a publisher, author, and thought leader who creates tools and platforms for organizational communication and knowledge sharing, whose ideas are used in more than 100 countries. It's not just that this is ineffective, it is ineffective, but worse, it's counterproductive. Best-selling author Steve Denning was director of knowledge management at the World Bank who's now one of the world's most sought-after speakers on leading and managing radical change. What can you do that can't be done by a computer and can't be done in Asia? Globally considered the most powerful speaker on leadership and change, best-selling author Larry Prusak is the founder of the Global Consortium, the Institute for Knowledge Management, who's also a senior advisor for knowledge management at NASA. Today, John, Catalina, Steve, and Larry continue to collaborate from different countries and continents, sharing their discoveries on radically different management models, models that might transform both you and your organization. 